Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. I'm here to bring you an update to this Charleston massacre. Uh, as you know, State Senator Clementa Pinckney was assassinated during this, although the mainstream media is not portraying it as such. Uh, but what we do have is Obama coming out uh, very quickly and calling for gun control. So there, there's always this underlying agenda when things like this happen. Uh, it's unfortunate. Quite frankly, it's a little, um, it's a little shitty for him to have done that this soon to come out. Here you go. Well, you know, we got to So just listen to what he's got to say. I mean, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. But I don't need to be constrained about the emotions that tragedies like this race. I've had to make statements like this too many times. Communities like this have had to endure tragedies like this too many times. We don't have all the facts, but we do know that, once again, innocent people were killed in part because someone who wanted to inflict harm had no trouble getting their hands on a gun. Now is the time for mourning and for healing. But let's be clear, at some point we as a country will have to reckon with the fact that this type of mass violence does not happen in other advanced countries. It doesn't happen in other places with this kind of frequency. And there you have it, folks. You've got this president um, coming out wanting to get your guns. Now, and I want to be clear about something. I am a registered Democrat. I have all of my life, um, my ideology has always been on the side of Democrats. But once Obama got into office, I realized that a Democrat, Republican, those are just labels that they've given themselves what they truly are are corporate spokespeople. That's all they are. They're bought and paid for by the corporations. They're put in front of us. They give us a couple of choices, people to choose from. Clinton, Obama, Bush, all these bad choices that we get, and those are the ones we get to pick from, but they all work for the same people. Until we all start realizing this, we're going to be screwed because we're going to be fighting amongst each other. As I said, I'm, I'm as liberal as you can get. I'm not a Republican. I do not follow many of the ideologies of the Republican Party. But I do believe in the Constitution. I do, do believe in the necessity of people having weapons. I believe in that. And because of that, I can call Obama out as a Democrat and say, you're a worthless piece of shit. And he is. It didn't take me very long to realize that once he got into office. And it amazes me how Republicans can continue to bash this man based on the fact that he isn't a Republican when he is actually doing everything that George Bush did. George Bush did it. Clinton did it. Reagan did it. His daddy did it. And now Obama's doing it. You see a pattern here? Democrat, Republican. It doesn't matter. They're all the same people. So, that's their agenda right here. Gun control and to further divide the nation. Get everybody pissed off at each other. Get Republicans and Democrats to hate each other. Get blacks and whites to hate each other. Get rich people and poor people to hate each other. Just create this chaos among the nation so that the government can come in and say, hey, we're going to fix it and we're here to help you. You know, maybe there was something to what Reagan said about those are the scariest words that one could ever hear. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. That's what they're doing. They're setting this country up to destroy itself, just like they did with Libya, just like they've done in Yemen, just like they did in Egypt, just like they did in all, all over the place. They cause commotion among the people. They get the people to start fighting against themselves and then they come in and offer a solution. Problem, reaction, solution. That's what this is all about. 
and they're just waiting for the right time. They're waiting for the right outburst of people to come out and start flipping out, because eventually they will. And then, lo and behold, here comes your UN and your military and your police force coming out, acting like they're trying to help and stop people from fighting with each other. People, you have got to come together. Democrats, Republicans, all of you. You have to come together. We've got to stop fighting with each other. Because in the end, we all want the same thing. We want to be able to live free from government intervention. We want to be able to do the things that we want to do in life, as long as it doesn't victimize anybody else. That's what we want to do. We all want that. We just want to live freely. We want to believe the things we want to believe. We want to do the things that we want to do. If we want to shoot ourselves up with, with some illegal substance, then by God, that should be what we're allowed to do. We don't need government coming in there telling us you can't do this, can't do that, can't do this, can't do that. Well, why? Well, because it's bad for you. So, so what if it's bad for me? Thank you. You've told me that it's bad for me. Now I know, and I'm going to keep doing it. McDonald's, bad for you. They don't stop McDonald's. I mean, it, it, it's this is all a ruse, guys. So I'm calling for Democrats and Republicans to stop fighting with each other. Please, stop it. You've got to stand up together and say, you know what? None of these fuckers in office are worth two cents. And vote every fucking one of them out. Every Democrat, every Republican, vote them all out. Vote for an independent, green, Whig. I don't care what party it is. The most obscure party you can see on your ticket, that's the one you need to be voting for. Just to send them a clear message that says, guys, we're done with it. We are done with this fighting. I will not fight with my neighbor anymore because you want me to. Because you put on the news that, oh, this is horrible. Oh, somebody died from a gun. And now Democrats hate Republicans, or white people hate black people, or black people hate white people. Stop it. I, I don't really know what else to add to that. But you, you're you seeing it right here. You got a state senator was assassinated. Mainstream media isn't isn't calling it what it is. Calling it a massacre, a racist massacre. No, no, it's not. No, those other people were in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's exactly what that was. It was designed to look like that senator just happened to be there. And that's it, it's the other way around. Those other people just happened to be there. And this is designed to get everybody to start screaming, Gun control! Now I can't even feel safe in my own church! That's what it is. Gun control, racism... They're just wanting us to fight with each other, guys. Let's not give them that. We have to stop fighting with each other. I, I mean, if I could wring your little neck and get you to understand that, if I could open your skull and implant that into your head, I would do it because it's worth it. This country is worth doing what is necessary to get everybody to freaking stop it. We're all humans, we have families, we love each other, we need to just go with that, and that needs to be how we live our lives. So what if somebody else does something that you don't like, as long as it is not affecting you, shut up about it. They want us to fight with each other, guys, they want us to. And as Republicans, damn it, you don't like Obama, so stop feeding this troll, stop feeding him. Stop feeding Bush. Stop feeding everybody. Stop feeding all these politicians. None of them care about you. They do not care about you. The sooner you realize that, the better off everybody is going to be. All right, I think I've ranted long enough. I hope this message is clear. That's all for now, folks. You can subscribe to my channel. Like it. Get this word out. Um, cause, cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Everybody needs to start trying to get along with each other and then leave it at that. And that's the message. You know, if this if this message, if you agree with this message, the message, then share it. 
Because this is the message that everybody needs to be talking about. This is what we need to push out there. Not just that the government's going to kill us. We need to come together as a people. And we need to say, look, we're done. We're through with it. This is not democracy. This is this is a fascist oligarchy system that you guys have designed to control us. And we're fucking done with it. That's it. All right. Well, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. I hope you guys have a good day. Um, keep in touch. I'll be updating this as things come in. Peace out.